Well, Sean, another beautiful start to the work week. You may want to take it easy outside tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, you know, tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. We have it's ozone at the surface, actually, that's causing some problems. Some pollution is moving in from the south, and that's going to uh, cause some issues with the air quality. We also have a little bit of that wildfire smoke aloft, and that's going to block out the sun a bit. More on that here in just a second. Right now, though, look at that. We are, <laughs> it is a nice afternoon. 80 in Mankato, 79 in Waseca, 79 in Fairmont and Blue Earth, Redwood Falls, Hutchinson, both at 81 degrees here this afternoon, and it looks good. You can see a little bit of that haze, but overall, uh, things are going to be really nice here, not only today, but for the next seven to 10 days. Limited rain chances coming up here over the upcoming week. It's 80, sunny, south wind at nine. The dew point is low at 44, so the air is rather dry, and that's gonna uh, come into play here as we head into Wednesday, and I'll talk about that here in a second too, but you can see that haze in the air. This is our camera in Louisville on the uh, Channel 12 tower down there, and you can see this big area of smoke that uh, is aloft, but filtering out some of the sunshine, and really the only big impact it's gonna have on us is that uh, it's going to maybe hold our temperatures back a couple of degrees, just because it is blocking some of the sun's energy, but we still have big fires way up here, north of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, 2,500 miles away, and our jet stream is gonna continue to bring that smoke down around our area. I think we're going to see it kind of clear up a little bit by later in the week. But uh, again, tomorrow you are going to notice that uh, the sunshine is rather hazy. And you can see it almost looks like there's a little film over the visible satellite. Typically the background, the base map of this is black. And you can just see that bit of gray. That is that wildfire smoke from those uh, Canadian fires up there. And that's going to continue to be a bit of an issue. There really isn't much going on here. We have a big blob of high pressure to our south. If you look up here to the north as we slide into tomorrow and then especially tomorrow night, Wednesday, we do have a cold front that's going to move through and there will be a few isolated showers and thunder showers, I think a little further north, but our air is so dry by the time this front gets to us, it's not going to do much. Uh, there may be an isolated shower sprinkle north of Highway 12 or Highway 212, but I think that's going to be about the extent of it. The one thing that we are going to notice is that the temperature is going to drop a bit. Highs are going to drop into the low to mid 70s on Wednesday and Thursday. Other than that, uh, we've got a pretty nice week. High pressure is going to kick in here, and that's actually going to hold all of this stuff out to the west. So we don't even have to worry about any of that coming in or bringing chances for rain. Just the cooler temperatures, and you can kind of see here 82 tomorrow, 70s on Wednesday and Thursday, but then we're going to bring it right back and kick it back into the 80s here as we head into the upcoming weekend. And again, we are going to keep it dry. Here's our future cast. I want to take you through tonight into tomorrow. We'll drop down to around 58 for a morning low tomorrow. More sunshine through the day. High of 78 in Mankato. Well, actually, noon temperature of 78. We'll get to 82 for a high tomorrow afternoon and temperatures will continue to climb. Tonight, 58, partly cloudy. I do want to mention that around sunset, if you go out and look at the moon, you're going to see something called the Da Vinci Glow. It's going to be a sliver of a crescent moon, but you're actually going to be able to see the outline or the rest of the moon kind of with an eerie glow. And that's actually the reflection of the Earth onto the moon, allowing us to see that. It's kind of an interesting phenomenon. If you want to read more about it, go to our blog section at KUIC.com. But uh, you're going to be able to see that tonight, tomorrow, probably again on Wednesday night. 82 hazy sunshine tomorrow as we take you into uh, the rest of the week. 75 Wednesday, 72 Thursday, 76 Friday. Look at that, all dry. We may see scattered shower, thunder shower chances climb back into the forecast after the weekend, but right now just doesn't look like a whole lot.